More fixes and improvements to the Saturn core have been made, specifically fixes to the CPU, VDP2, and SEU. The fixes to the SEU has led to some games that use the DSP to work. Some of these games are Sonic R, VR Virtual Racing, Croc, and Center Ring Boxing. SRG320 has posted a video on his YouTube channel showing off these changes. On that video, I took a closer look at Sonic R to see if a 3D transparency effect in the game was working. In order to minimize popping in the game, it used a transparent fade effect for background 3D geometry. And if you take a close look at the background geometry, you can see the transparent effect working to a certain degree in the Mr. FPGA Saturn core. On a real Saturn, this is how it's actually supposed to look. The transition is smoother on a real system, but it's nice seeing it start working on the Saturn core. This was a really impressive effect for the Saturn because it was known for not being able to do transparencies in 3D. In order to get this transparent effect, the developer used a clever trick in a section of one of the Saturn's hardware registers. If you want to know more about how this was achieved, check out the Game Hut YouTube channel. I'll provide a link in the description. This bodes well for the Saturn Core's future of compatibility when hardware tricks by developers start working on the core. I also want to mention an interesting post for the Saturn Core in the Mr. FPGA forums from SRG320, the developer of the Saturn Core. In that post, he says he's only testing US games for now. From the 135 US games he has, there are about 25 that are fully playable with minor glitches. So there's still a ways to go before the core is ready to play most games. From what has been shown so far, things do look great, but getting the compatibility up is very important. He's not currently testing Japanese and European games because it will take more time. Even though there are many amazing non-US exclusive Saturn titles, if only testing US games speeds us his development process, then he's doing the right move. We already know that the PlayStation Core has implemented sound used by the SPU chip. However, some other audio features have yet to be implemented. Well, now progress in that department is being made. Now, CD-ROM XA audio has been implemented. This is different from the audio you get when you pop in a compact disc into a CD player. That uses a CD-DA format, DA standing for digital audio. So you still won't get sound for games using audio in that format. CD-ROM XA, also known as CD-ROM Mode 2, is an enhancement to the CD-ROM format that helps synchronize text, audio, and video more accurately. Something very helpful for multimedia applications like video games. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! It was not by my hand that I'm once again given flesh. I was- Mr. Core developer Hotego has been very busy. He returned to some System 16 development and started to do some debugging for Beirut, which would hang when trying to start a game. Beirut is a Contra-like run-and-gun game by Sega and Sunsoft where the player can collect various weapons and switch between them on the fly. He later found an important bug that fixed the hanging issues, which also may have the added benefit of fixing another System 16 game called Bullet. Bullet is a top-down twin-stick shoot-em-up. Think of it as a Merc-style game with Smash TV gameplay. After getting that bug fixed, he went on to continue working on the Neo Geo Pocket CPU, which he has a little over 50% complete. He also believes that the Neo Geo Pocket as a whole should work fine on Mr. Hotego also reported that Twitter user RetroRusty found the full schematics for the arcade track and field game. Hotego only had partial scans with the main board, but with these full scans, it has sped up his development for the game by more than a week. This is a great example of the community coming together to help preserve a game. The YouTube channel Zez Retro has done an interview with Porkchop Express, the owner of Mr. Add-ons, which is a website where you can purchase Mr. Related products. In the interview, you learn the history of how Mr. Add-ons started and a little about the way the business operates, what's going on with the DE10 Nano's available stock, and more. There's even some talk about what Terrasic thinks about how the DE10 Nano is being used for the Mr. project. 
So if you're interested in learning about the life of a Mr. Vendor, go check out the interview. Also, consider using Mr. Adams to purchase Mr. Related products. I've purchased several items from them and the customer service is excellent. Speaking of Mr. Addons, he posted on his Twitter account something interesting that he's working on. He looks to be working on hardware for dual SD RAM and analog video out. The PlayStation and Saturn cores are going to use two SD RAM sticks. While the PlayStation core can use one RAM stick, the sound will not be accurate that way. And for the Saturn core, it looks like two RAM sticks will be a requirement. So this upcoming hardware should be of interest for Saturn and PlayStation fans. Antonio Villena, a vendor and builder of custom Mr. Setups, is creating a second user I.O. expansion for his Mini and Plus builds. The idea is to be able to have a more consolidated MT32 Pi setup where you can attach a Raspberry Pi 02W directly to the top of his Mr. Setups instead of having an external MT32 Pi connected via a wire. The expansion will not be limited to just the MT32 Pi, but also be compatible with other serial devices. It's still in the prototype phase and no release date is set yet. A while back, I created a video on his Mr. Plus kit. If you're curious about his custom Mr. setups, check out that video. I'll provide a link in the description. A fully assembled MT32 Pi kit using the Raspberry Pi 02W is available by Twitter user Yavi Maya. It has everything you need to listen to upgraded music on the cores that support it. The kit is pre-assembled and all you have to do is install the MT32 Pi software onto an SD card and plug in the kit to your Mr.'s user I.O. port. The kit costs $77 and is also available on Yavimaya's Tindy store. And here are some other quick Mr. related updates. The Coco 3 core has been getting a lot of updates lately and a notable update is that it now supports memory sizes all the way up to 16 megabytes. For those that don't know, the Coco name is actually a nickname for Tandy's TRS-80 color computers. Another update is that the Einstein TC-01 core has been updated to support its successor, the Einstein 256. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.